Perfect. That was very cool. How about a big hand for those Samsung guys? Okay, next up, we're going to bring back uh, Avram Pilch, and he's going to talk about the Lenovo Idea Center Horizon. I know these guys need a couple minutes to set up. Avram, come on up. They're moving our chairs back for this one. This is going to be a good one. This is the uh, Lenovo Idea Center Horizon. Take it away, Avram. So these days, mobile technology just keeps tearing us apart. On any given night in my house, you'll see me typing away on my computer, buried in the screen. You'll see my wife on the couch staring into her phone and my nine month old on his Fisher Price laptop trying to figure out how to hack into the other devices. <laughs> but, uh, for, you know, we could turn all these devices off and sit down at the table and try and play a game of cards, but that's something we would have done in 1980 and that's just not how we roll. So, uh, fortunately though, Lenovo is bringing back Family Night and doing it in an entirely 21st century way with the Idea Center Horizon. Uh, this is something that looks like it is initially a 27 inch all in one touchscreen Windows 8 PC, but fold it flat and you have a tabletop computer with a completely unique Aura user interface that you can use to sort your photos and to play Texas Hold'em around the table with mom, dad, and even your aunt who's in Idaho. So uh, let's have a closer look at the Lenovo Idea Center Horizon. So Steven, as much as I like beating you at poker, uh, you know, we've got clocks ticking here, we've got four minutes, we work for one of the largest personal technology companies in the world. We should probably be talking about tech. I do have the ThinkPad Tablet 2, system on a chip. Whoa, 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 whoa. Steven, that's a cool product, but this is the last gadget standing. We've got a big audience, we've got big competition. I think we need to do something big. Show me what you got. All right. All right, pretty good. <laughs> this is a huge tablet. We're actually working on a 27 inch screen here. Multi touch, loaded with all kinds of apps, but it's more than just a tablet. So it is an indeed an all in one PC. It is. We're going to go up to an i7 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, a terabyte of storage, discrete graphics. All you need is a full function, very powerful all in one PC. But like I like to say, Ashley gives me a hard time for calling it. Portable. It's old school. It's a old school boom, boom box. box. This is two hours of battery life. So the whole idea is take it to the bedroom before that little thing. Take it to take it back out to the living room. Really is. Really is the center of your home entertainment. So check this out. If you were to lay this down, because you can stand it up, you can lay it down, it kicks into our Aura interface. This is really cool. Actually, Steven, we've been having fun at CES. Why don't we show them some of the pictures? This is actually with the football players. Oh yeah, my husband's gonna love that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, how about you with the cheerleaders? Okay, my wife does not want that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, it got silly with her with their football players more. She liked them. I think you had too much to drink there. Okay, so and then we did have out in front of our tent, if you've seen that, we had a, a, a 4,000 pound spider and 40 foot snake. Oh, I so, like this. Check out that video. This snake is going to attack Stevie. He looks like a whip here. Okay, it's a big snake. All right, fine. Oh. The point is, whether it's music or video, get rid of this. Okay, let's do a couple of different gestures. You can fly this stuff right off the screen. Well, there's music or video. The whole family can gather on this and bring the gaming and the fun back to the living room. And if it could be gaming, if you want to play air hockey, why not have on screen air hockey controllers or, Those are pretty cool. or, or joysticks that stick on the screen if you have a joystick type game? Yeah, Stevie, my my favorite is actually the e-dice. We've got e-dice that have a G-sensor inside and they're paired with the PC. So if you're like me, you like to blow on the dice and then either throw them soft or throw them hard. You don't just want to push a button on the screen. Because if she's losing, she's going to throw the dice. I can right. throw it into the audience, right? And they it's still register on, here. They don't have to land on the screen. So if you wanted to play, we started with Texas Hold'em Poker. So if you wanted to do poker, for example, Android phone, we have an app for that. So. On your screen is the hold cards, so you'd be playing the hold cards as you're doing the game. Actually, on the Steven, we started playing poker. We wanted some audience involvement. Maybe we get a couple of people playing poker with us here. But they don't have their phones yet, so how about roulette? All right, roulette. So now Cassidy handed out, I don't know how many of you, seven, eight, some of that, 14, 15 people. You have a red or a black card. Show me your red or black card. Hold up your red or black. So we're going to do roulette. So Ashley and I'll play the house if it's green. 
And real quickly, you'll see how nice and easy it is to bet. So just drag out, I'm gonna drag out here to the uh, to the black. What's really cool here is that you guys are seeing all these apps that are loaded. We opened up the SDK to all these different developers. We expect to have about 3,000 apps by the time this thing launches in second quarter. You've got big companies like and EA <laughs> and Ubisoft <laughs> and others. And the very first time it does not spin is right here. Oh, there, there we go, go. So you need the woman's touch. We do indeed, we have 10 seconds left. And is it gonna be black or red? All right, who is black? You're gonna win another monitor. All right. And this is the last guy standing. Let's hear it, guys. Who wants one of these? Who needs Las Vegas if you have one of those? Imagine what you.